One final time, we welcome you back to 5 Talk Street. I'm Scott Murray. The Walk to End Alzheimer's is the nation's largest event to raise awareness and funds for Alzheimer's care, support, and research. Stacy Parker is a team captain for the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which benefits the Alzheimer's Association of North Central Texas. Stace, how are you? Great. Good Thank to see you. you. Nice to see Another you. Another year upon us. Another year. And you get ready for literally the biggest walk in America. Absolutely. 600 communities. That's over the top. Exactly. They have um, Alzheimer's walks throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. There's five that we have in the North Texas area. That is Weatherford, Garland, Arlington, Dallas, Fort Worth, and then I'm at the Grapevine Walk. Okay. What is the, the thing that has made this so successful over the years? It's the community that comes together because Alzheimer's funds or research funds are from the community and from the areas where that doesn't work. Go ahead. Yeah, I understand. Continue. Uh, go ahead. I, I, know, I know exactly what you mean. Here, here's what I want to ask you, though. You talk about all these different communities and everybody coming together. In 25, 30 years ago, when somebody said Alzheimer's, you'd have to get your dictionary out and you go, what, what right. really is this? And then you hear words like dementia. And you say, what really is that? And then you find out that a relative or a neighbor or somebody down the street has Alzheimer's. Now we hear about it every place. And I would imagine the walk, as far as raising money, has probably done as right. much for awareness as, as anything. It's the largest fundraiser in community awareness is the Alzheimer's walks. Well, do you have any idea how much money has been raised over the years? From I this? do not. Okay. I just wondered, you know, annually how much I money. It's got to get the into the millions. Bone, right. The Great Bone Walk is around 50000 okay. is what we is what we estimate. And that money goes to helping support the staff and the offices so that they can get the care and the to out to the people, mm -hmm. to the community, mm -hmm. when you need somebody. Now, somebody told me a couple of years ago about something called the Promise Garden. Can you tell me what the Promise Garden is and how that all came about? What, what is it that? It started last year. It's the flowers and they're pinwheel type flowers they come in four different colors mm -hmm. and they're whether you are a um, person that has alzheimer's one that has taken care of a caregiver, so kind of a caregiver an right. advocate and then someone that um, has lost someone to alzheimer's i see so they all have different colors and what have you right and might be purple might be blue might be yellow right. whatever and then you can just look at all the people that are taking right. part and you'll know what everyone's um, association okay. with Alzheimer's is what's your association why, why do you do this in 2003 my husband was um, diagnosed with Alzheimer's he had the early onset Alzheimer's I was gonna say wait a minute you're not that old no so how old was he when that he, happened he was 53 when he was diagnosed wow. and he died in 2008 from Alzheimer's you think of this as being something that maybe your grandfather or your great-grandmother gets somebody in their 70s 80s right. 90s and you say 50. Correct. At 50 years old is when things started going haywire for him. He didn't know how to get to the airport. And he flew in and out of DFW airport for years. And he didn't know where it was to come pick us up. How was that for you? It's frightening. It's scary. And you need somewhere to go to ask questions. And even like when they're in the facility and incapable of getting moving them around to get them to the dentist, to get them to the doctor, mm -hmm. you have to call the Alzheimer's Association. They'll help you to find somebody to help, you know, get a doctor to them. So giving back and being a part of this initiative is probably very important to you, not only yes. for what it does for others, but every year you know personally how it touched your life. Exactly. Well, you're, you're super to continue to do this. There's so sweet. many people that kind of look the other way and say, don't want to deal with it, that life has passed, and yet you're out there probably in memory of your, of your late husband saying, let's make a difference. Right, exactly. Good for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, Stacy, Thank And you. thanks to everybody if, that walks for Alzheimer's. And if anyone wants to join, it's Alzheimer's. Is, um, www.alz.org and then the our team is called the forget me not so we are looking for teams for this year's walk very good so very good sign up thank, thank you, you so much great to see you well that's it for this edition of five talk street we thank you for joining us till next time i'm scott murray have a great day everybody okay that was horrible